Alright, so now that you've got your file system expanded, um, maybe you want to set up your Wi Fi dongle instead of being connected to the Ethernet port. So, this is how I've done it. There's other ways you can set up static IPs and all that, but I've found this way to be the simplest for me. Um, so, all you're going to do is do sudo nano uh, forward slash etc slash network slash interfaces, and then you'll press enter. And then this is how it should look. Um, once you finish configuring it, um, granted the default is going to look different, so you're going to need to change it to look like this. Um, with Nano, you just type it like you would any other text editor, essentially. Um, the only difference with yours and mine is that, of course, your wireless network isn't named your wireless network. It's going to be the name of your network. So, for example, with my mother's, my mom's network, she she uh, she always can't remember which one's hers, so I named it Mom. She was this one, um, but yeah, you probably have a different name than I do. And Grant, no, I don't live with my mother anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm married, so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next uh, also the password is going to be your password to your wireless network. Um, and then this last one here, that's optional. Um, I had to add it to mine because my wireless network adapter, the Wi-Fi dongle, for some reason kept uh, power cycling, so it would turn off and on, off and on, off and on, and it just I couldn't get a constant connection, it was driving me bonkers. Um, so putting in this last line of code, wireless hyphen power off, um, that was able to fix that uh, off and on of the Wi-Fi. So if you've got a problem with that on yours, then that's probably what you'll add, otherwise you probably don't need it. Um, in your in your configuration file. So once you've finished editing that, all you got to do is you press Control plus X, and um, that will will save it. Um, since I am, oh, I guess I didn't change anything on it. So sorry. Um, let's say that we wanted to add something. If it didn't change anything, so there we go. Control X. Uh, you modified something, so you press Y. And then all you do is press enter, and then that will, will save it. Um, but granted, you got to make changes before it will give you that option to save. So that's all you got to do to set up your Wi Fi. Oh, actually, that's not true. So then what you're going to do is sudo nano forward slash etc slash mt.d slash networking and then stop. Then press enter, and I'm not going to do it because. Uh, I'm over SSH and I'll cut off my connection, but you press stop, and then once you do that, then you do the same code, but then you just press, uh, you write start, um, and then press enter, and that will restart your uh, Wi-Fi dongle so that it will start working, um, so you can connect to it remotely. Uh, if you don't like doing it that way, the, another simple way is to just do sudo reboot. And that will reset your whole Raspberry Pi, and so when it boots back up, it will uh, start into your Wi-Fi dongle as long as it's plugged in, and then you'll be able to access it wirelessly. So those are the things you can do to set up your wireless network. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Otherwise, you can just use an Ethernet cable and have it plugged in. That's fine too. Um, so uh, next, we'll talk about configuring controllers for uh, RetroPi.